Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. Uh, you can get it for either PlayStation 4 or Switch. Uh, the winner will be announced at the end of the month. And to enter, you got to comment, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. Also, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. If we hit 50,000 subscribers uh, before the month of November, uh, we will be giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. That being so, let's get right into this amazing, awesome news. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, it's real, it's happening. Nintendo announced it on social media, sent out some emails about it. It is coming at the end of October, so we now know the game they're going to have in October is going to end up being Pikmin 3 Deluxe, October 30th, right before Halloween. Now, throughout this video, you're going to be seeing the trailer over and over again, so I'm not going to go too much over the trailer. I beat Pikmin 3 back on the Wii U, uh, but we're going to go over the email they sent out and some of that because there's some interesting details included in here to let you know what we're all getting with Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So it says Pikmin 3 Deluxe delivers a full suite of additions and enhancements, including the ability to play the whole story mode in co-op with a friend, new side story missions, which can also be played in co-op, and all of the mission mode DLC stages from the original game's release. With new difficulty options, lock-on targeting, optional hints, and the choice to play at a more relaxed pace, it's easier than ever to join in on the Pikmin fun. Enjoy the game's beautiful scenery and get a taste of this vibrant world and what it has to offer. Fun features from the original game also return in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, such as the in-game camera, which allows players to snap photos of the game's lush environments and curious creatures from a pint-sized perspective. For seasoned players who are ready to deploy their Pikmin plucking skills in some new challenges, Pikmin 3 Deluxe adds new side story missions featuring Olimar and Louie exploring the planet PNF 404. And for a bit of friendly Pikmin flinging fun, there are even head-to-head -head multiplayer matches available in Bingo Battle. Um, they also added the Piklopedia, uh, which is a valuable resource and contains information on creatures you encounter during your adventures. In addition, you can collect in-game badges by meeting certain conditions. Uh, and, you know, you know, kind of a screenshot of some new stuff here as well. Uh, just, just some stuff that Nintendo of America threw out on Twitter. Um, yeah, this is uh, amazing. There has been uh, a rumor about Pikmin 3 Deluxe dating back uh, to earlier this year um where uh someone put out there from venture beat uh that we were going to end up getting uh this in addition to the 35th anniversary stuff so uh yeah it's pretty crazy uh that we're finally getting pikmin 3 pikmin 3 is one of the last um true masterpieces in my opinion on wii u now there are some other games that need to come over from wii u and some uh, p potential other uh masterpiece games but pikmin 3 to me is, is practically a perfect pikmin game if there was ever to be a perfect pikmin game it's this because everything about this game screams quality now i used to think the game was a little short and i've talked about this on some live streams lately where i mentioned you know pikmin 3 kind of felt a little short at times but that doesn't mean that it's a bad game it just meant that i wanted more the game left me wanting more and now we get it because we get all of the dlc from the mission mode obviously which wasn't there obviously at launch of the original pikmin 3 uh and plus we're getting new new side story missions this is exactly what you want when you bring a Wii U game over. You know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was very much just basically Mario Kart 8. But Pikmin 3 Deluxe is adding all new content, new difficulty options, new lock-on targeting. They're, they're adding new stuff to the game to make it fresh and interesting. And I really, really hope that all of you that have ever enjoyed a Pikmin game go out and buy Pikmin 3 because... Obviously, I think if Pikmin 3 sells really, really well on Switch, that'll encourage Nintendo to actually finish Pikmin 4 that was started eons ago uh, and get that out to us as well. Um, Pikmin 3 is an amazing game, and if you did not play it or you did not own a Wii U, uh, you should play this game, especially if you're into strategy games. It's a very different type of strategy game, uh, but that's the thing. You, 
Most of Nintendo's games are very different. ARMS is a very different type of fighting game. Smash Bros. is a very different type of fighting game. Um, Mario is a very different type of platforming game. And, you know, Pikmin is a very different type of strategy game. Uh, Splatoon 2, different type of shooting game. Like, this is what Nintendo does. They do unique twists on popular franchises or popular... Um, I shouldn't say popular franchises. They do unique twists on popular genres. Uh, and, yeah, Pikmin's just one of those darlings that Miyamoto tossed together back in the GameCube days and, and we're on the third iteration and I'm glad to see it's finally coming to Switch. Now, does this change the whole narrative before that Nintendo's going to be relying on Mario games? I don't think so. Um, th just because uh, we did that video yesterday where it sounded like Nintendo was going to rely on Mario for the rest of the year didn't mean that they weren't going to have other games that come out. Uh, Pikmin is not a big seller. It's, it's the unfortunate truth of uh of of the series is just pikmin does not sell a lot of copies typically um so it's kind of like metroid and other stuff where like metroid might be a big announcement but i mean the the number of the best-selling games only sold four million that's not going to carry a year mario games regularly sell over 10 so um i i think that we're just gonna have to uh wait and see what else nintendo has going this does support a notion though uh that nate drake put out there so Nate Drake mentioned uh, when we talk about the Mario stuff that he feels like the 35th anniversary thing will be something that they just drop in a Twitter announcement. Well, guess what? That's what they did here with Pikmin 3 Deluxe is they dropped it in a Twitter announcement. And that's also what they did with Paper Mario, the Origami King. It does make you wonder that with all the direct rumors and everything else out there, is Nintendo going to have a normal direct or is this what they're doing? Their last two major announcements, they just dropped on Twitter. So I have a feeling that Maybe Nintendo isn't going to do a, a normal Direct. I know we just talked about it yesterday, about a potential Direct with Breath of the Wild 2 and all this stuff, and it sounds all exciting. But at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. Two major announcements in a row from Nintendo just dropped on social media randomly one day uh, without any warning. So uh, maybe this is how Nintendo's handling the rest of the year. Um, it's interesting because Paper Mario the Origami King, from all... Uh, indications might not be a massive seller for Nintendo. We, we need to get some final sales data from certain countries to know for sure. Uh, definitely isn't selling extremely well in Japan. So we'll have to see um, more long-term sales. But uh, yeah, um, it's interesting because you could argue that maybe if they had a direct, maybe that game would have been more hyped. Maybe. It's a big maybe. But Pikmin 3 Deluxe, we know what Pikmin 3 is. So whew, hold on to your butt cheeks because... This isn't going to be it. This is their. This is now their October game. This is not their big holiday game. They always have some big game coming out around November. So they're going to have a big game coming in November. We don't know what it is. Maybe it ends up being the 35th anniversary, even though it originally was planned for September, supposedly. I don't know. But they're going to have something coming, uh, hopefully before this, if I'm completely honest. We are in August. We have September next month. I'm hoping that like this isn't... We don't have to wait two months, and then this is what we get, and then you know, maybe a game in November. I'm hoping we have at least one more game between now and then, preferably the 35th anniversary collection. But if it's not that, something. Um, well, yeah, Wii U ports, uh, you know, you think about the Wii U ports, this is one of the last ones that, that could come over, but there's actually quite a number that could still come over. Um, so, yeah, well, I'll just have to wait and see what's next. I, you know, and I guess at this point, I thought, so what other Wii U games do you want to see come over to Switch? Um, I'm always partial to have Zombie U come over. It already got ported to other platforms, so why not bring that over? Um, you know, I, there's there, there's other interesting games like Star Fox Zero. Um, it didn't sell extremely well, and I think the game is better uh, than it was given credit for. It would need to be reworked a little bit, um, but I, I do think that Star Fox Zero would actually work really really well on switch and perform pretty decent too uh just my opinion of course um but yeah there's there's a couple others obviously we know about uh super mario 3d world i think it's a given that game's coming over at some point here uh there's been a rumor about a deluxe version of that and clearly deluxe is like the name that nintendo X attached to all of their wii u ports um so i guess we could just get used to them, them just being called deluxe versions uh, so yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what, what uh, Wii U game you still want to see come over. Uh, let me know how excited you are to find Pikmin 3 with new content. Uh, that's the big thing for me. Brand new content being added to this game, making the game longer. And hey, if you never played the bingo mode, the bingo mode is fantastic. 
Uh, it sounds absolutely stupid. Um, when, if you go look up like videos of people playing it, it just looks ridiculous. But uh, I'm telling you, it's a hell of a lot of fun. And uh, you know how people like to settle it in Smash? Well, maybe we should be talking about settling it in Pikmin Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's great. Anyways, guys, remember to enter the giveaway by commenting down below, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon. Obviously, help us on our road to 50K. Let's share the channel. Let's, let's get all your friends enjoying this content. Uh, and I'll catch all you guys in the next video.